getting ready to push out the crankshaft on this uh, hook engine here and I thought I'd show if I can get this lined up right exactly how it is I'm doing it got a 4x4 four four here and a 4x4 four four here to support the case it's not interfering with the shift mechanism here and going to push on the end of this crankshaft, push it down through and hopefully this thing here is going to drop down against this uh, piece of the press here, the bolster of the press, but I'm going to wrap some rags under there so as it doesn't make such a clank, clank when it comes down. Alright, ready for the big press here now. Let's see what happens. Let's see here. Here we go. Looks like that wasn't so bad. Whoopee. Now one of the things I was worried about was how the the skew gear for the oil pump is driven and apparently you'll see this little flat uh, down in here that little flat uh, there's two of them uh, that's what does the trick. See if I can get this camera up where you can see the other one. But there's two flats and they engage on some flats that are milled on the crankshaft. Which I would say you can see right there. You can see one of the flats right there. So that apparently is what drives that skew gear. So don't seem like I have much problem with that. That's the part I didn't understand how that gear was driven. Now I understand it. Now right here is where the oil from the oil pump is going to come into the engine through here. And from there it's going to go over here to the crankshaft into this groove that they cut. Somebody cut this back uh, groove in here on the lathe after they press the crank together because you can see the cuts in this you know in this uh, journal pin so the oil is going to run through the center of that journal my guess is it goes right through the journal bearings for the rods uh, it's probably probably going right in there and right out the rod so this has a real good system of oiling on it I think that's probably why these cranks really last I've got a little shim on here I gotta watch out for apparently it's real thin but it has to do with controlling the inflow to the engine so seems to be stuck in the oil here but I'll have to get that off but uh, yeah I'm really impressed with this crank it was really built uh, I, I, I got a lot of respect for some kind of machine work like that a lot of things they don't do like we do nowadays but it sure has a way of doing it that's really heavy duty. This this thing is built, it's like a tractor, it ain't like a motorcycle. It's like some kind of industrial heavy duty thing here. Huge bearings, really huge flywheels with a real heavy weight. I like it. Got the bearing here on the out, outer part of the crankshaft coming out just by using this electric heat gun. 
to heat the aluminum and bearing just give the bearing a few taps from the inside with a little punch and it's coming out quite easily uh, use the heat gun because it puts out a lot of heat it'll get that aluminum hot and yet I don't have to go upstairs and use the wife's oven to heat this up uh, she takes a dim view on the heating up cases in her oven